Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of threads, guys. Okay, so we'll be discussing in this lecture about threads and its types. In the next lecture, we'll be discussing about attacks and their types, guys. Okay, yes. So let us continue. So first, let us go through what is a threat basically. Okay, so in simple words, okay, first let us go through the definition, guys. Then I'll be explaining because you'll be getting more clarity in that in that way, right? Yes. So threat. A threat can be anything that can take advantage of a vulnerable breach, either security and neglect errors or erase harmful objects or object of interest. Okay. So basically threat is nothing but some kind of danger you can say guys, right? Yes. So basically by using these threats, some hackers or someone can enter into your system to do some kind of things. To grab your data, to damage your system, to delete your files, to get your histories and all those things. Like they can do anything they want. Okay. Yes. So basically this threat will attack the vulnerability. Right. Yes. Okay. So vulnerable devices are nothing but which have or which are potential to get damaged. Right. Yes. So basically assume that your system, you are not having any antivirus or any kind of thing. So in that situation, a virus can come and actively it can crack the data and it can go. Right. So hence your system is vulnerable to that virus because you are not having antivirus like that. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about threat, right? Yes. Okay. So now let us go through security threat. It is defined as a risk that which can be potentially harm your computer or your complete organization, right? Yes. Okay. So first let us go through the types of security threats, guys. Okay. So the first type we will be here. We are having, I think I wrote around seven types, guys. Okay. We'll be discussing about them one after the other. Okay, so let us start with the malware guys first of all because malware is a completely different one So few might be saying that malware is not a virus also, right? Yes So malware basically is not a virus guys. In fact, it consists of viruses Okay, so basically if there are multiple viruses, so then they can we can say that these all are malware, right? Yes So that is the reason why most of the time whenever you are performing scan in your system It will be saying that found malware 10 malwares found like that. So basically those are nothing but some kind of virus, right? So, so sorry, you cannot say those are viruses, but those could be some kind of a collection of viruses or it contains virus. Okay. Yes. So malware is not a virus. In fact, it consists of viruses, worms, Trojan horses or adverse, etc. Okay. So in simple words, it is a code with intent to steal data or destroy something on your PC. Okay, so what can a malware do? So this operations it can do. It can steal your data and it can transfer it to the server or it can transfer it to someone else, right? Yes. Okay, so now let us go through virus. A computer virus is a carefully hidden piece of computer code that has the ability to spread from one system to another system. It replicates and executes itself, usually da doing damage to the computer in process. Okay, so whenever you go to any kind of... Uh, Okay, so let us take an example of college itself. Okay, so whenever you go to your college, your college systems, sometimes a few systems will be really slow and few systems will be really fast, right? Like according to their performance, right? Yes. So these uh, slow systems uh, are lagging something, right? Indirectly because they are slow means there is some issue. If every hardware component is perfect and if uh, still there is an issue, hence you can say that that system is infected with virus guys. Because basically this virus, the virus is nothing but they replicate themselves and they block the processes like they will be making usage of a CPU and everything so that other processes cannot run. So that is the reason why you will be facing those structs and all those things, right? Yes. Okay. Let us continue. Okay. Similarly, warm. Okay. So warm the thing will be really funny guys. Okay. Okay. Sorry for that guys. Okay. So basically what is a warm guys? So warm will be moving from one place to another. It is it is a small inset you can say right yes so it is moving from one place to another that is the thing that you should remember guys it will be traveling in the network right so if your system got this warm and there are n number of systems in your network all those n, n number of systems could affect with this warm so that is the major issue with this warm guys so it is a self replication program that can spread throughout the network without the human assistance so basically there is no need for someone to say it is a warm it will be slowly spreading everywhere that's it Okay, so warm causes damage similar to viruses, stealing information, corrupting files, installing backdoors for remote access, etc. So it is going to use your huge memory. So whenever sometimes you might be seeing, even in my system, sometimes I'll be seeing. So your files will be of around 10 GB, but 200 to 500 MB or 1 GB up to 1 GB, you'll be having nothing in your drive. 
or in your disk but it is occupied right i'm not saying about the internal storage and all those things but in your system in a free space only it is occupied you don't know how so those things are nothing but these are taking some memory so there is some kind of virus or worms or something which are occupying some kind of memory so yes that you should understand okay similarly during file sharing email attachments we, we, we might receive worms guys okay similarly trojan horses okay so it is a destructive program usually pretend pretends on a computer as a game or an application so basically these are trojan horse you will be installing as if it is an application or a game guys but indirectly those are trojan bombs okay so if executed the computer will be damaged usually comes with the monitoring tools so basically sometimes you'll be getting some kind of cleaning applications right in your pc they'll be getting ads so those applications might contain these kind of things guys okay okay but the only advantage is that it does not have the ability to replicate itself so it cannot duplicate itself okay so that is the major advantage here guys okay yes similarly spyware so from the name only you can say so it is a program that gets installed without the user permission it monitors the user activities on the internet and transmits it through the third party so basically it is some kind of a spy it will be observing your actions right yes similarly root kits okay so it is a simple or single program or a collection of programs designed to take complete control of the system okay so it gives hackers all the ability of the system administrator from a remote remote location so basically i can sit in my home and i can operate your system so that it is possible with the help of the rootkit so basically don't say that i'll be using team your and all those things those are with permissions like you installed and i installed you shared your key and i used right but here it is illegal i'm using without your idea right yes okay let us continue so the other type of threat is a backdoor so we are having backdoor attack also guys we'll be discussing in the attack so don't worry okay so backdoors are uh, trojan allows someone to take control of another user's computer via the internet without taking permission so this is almost similar to rootkits so basically rootkits also will be doing the same operation and this is also doing the same operation guys okay you can say in that way also cookies so these are files on your computer that enable websites to remember your details so track your visitor track your visit it can be a threat to confidentiality but not your data okay so basically i hope everyone will be seeing this right so now if i told it is a threat or it is an issue you might be thinking that okay so why i'm saying always in many websites you'll be getting guys all accept all cookies like that right so basically cookies are nothing but so whenever you open a website multiple data will be loading right so there could be your information or any kind of information to be loading right yes so when you type your username and password okay so if you are not using a google chrome or any kind of application which auto saves the password okay so in that situation if you if it is coming automatically the password or it is logging in automatically in that situation you can say that your system is having a cookie of this website which that cookie is storing the information about your details guys i am not please make sure that i am not saying about cookies as a virus or any kind of worm or anything it is a safe thing guys unless and until it is only carrying your data like your personal data and it is storing only in your system if this cookie has been copied to some other system that could be an issue right yes okay keep logging so it is the process of separately recording the key strokes by an unauthorized third party application for stealing the usernames passwords credit card all those details okay so this is key logging guys okay so here key the passwords the the private keys public keys and all those things can be tracked here guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the threats okay so let us continue we are having multiple types also guys so i have just written only few okay okay so few more types could be force of nature so basically even some kind of threats could be from nature also right so it could be a fire accident it could be flood it could be earthquake lightning tsunami etc so basically you can explain in your own words right so there could be a fire accident in which the whole system could burn off or there could be a flood in which the water has uh, damaged the internal components like that you can write right yes so those things you can write those are nothing but forced by nature similarly we are having human failure so whenever you do some kind of mischief like basically connecting some kind of uh, wrong cords like wrong uh, connections and all those things right yes similarly sabotage someone is damaging your system so that could also be a threat and theft so basically your system is lost somewhere right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so in the about threats so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about attacks and their types guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching